Did they also turn Jason Newstead down on the End Justice for All B-Sides? The short answer is not as bad, but almost. Stick around. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. I've got a loud bass re-remastered version of every early Metallica song, full EP and full album. The Cliff Burden era is done. The Jason Newstead era has begun. We're at the Justice B-Sides and the Justice album is next. So more content to come. Thank you. Having finished the five Garage Day songs recently, they were cakewalk because the bass is nice and loud on that EP and the track separation software was able to separate it pretty easily. Of the 11 songs in the Injustice for All era, five of them have bass tracks that were leaked from the Guitar Hero video game. That leaves six songs that I had to isolate myself. Having to do three of them at the same time was very difficult, and Harvester of Sorrow here was the most advanced thing I've ever done. I have the KJ track here, which the rough mix is a little bit faster, so it runs faster than the remaster, so I had to split all these to slow it down uh, and line it up, and all these splits are silent, and then I had to take this and put it up here because I had to copy the first verse, pre-chorus, and chorus because the second verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, and the third verse and third chorus were not usable. You're looking at a nightmare. Uh, but I got it done, and now we have a usable Harvester of Sorrow stem that is complete from start to finish. Also, the song had no beginning, which I created from other parts of the song. Let's just give it a quick listen to just the stem. Had to automate down all those noise flares right there. This is bread fan. Also heavily automated to bring down noises and bring up things that just did not cut through because the software couldn't get to it. And lastly, let's take a look at the prints. It's also automated, not as much, but I also automated the song itself to bring up those two solo parts where Jason plays by himself without the band because with the bass track as loud as it is, when those two spots happen, the bass sounds quiet. These three songs were hard. Uh, Harvester of Sorrow I've been working on for like three weeks now, and uh, it is no joke, uh, the amount of work that went into this. Uh, also, I want to say thank you to Ian Rushforth. He helped me with all three of these tracks. Uh, he sent me stems with things boosted to try this, try this one, try that one. And we you know, emailed back and forth, and uh, we argued, we debated, we got our feelings hurt. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, what came out of that was the best possible Jason Newstead Harvester of Sorrow bread fan on the Prince track that there could be. And uh, it's only going to get better as I give you the episodes uh, because I'll have them even more improved and more dialed when they're isolated then. When I set out to finish the Harvester of Sorrow full EP re-remastered that I started last week, I did not anticipate also making this video, but so much work went into getting those three stems ready at the same time, and I had so much fun, and I'm so happy with the end result. That I had to. All three of these songs sound massive with Jason on bass, uh, and uh, The Prince is no exception. Like five tons of bricks, man, just heavy. Now I will just see, just see. That's gonna do it for this week. I gotta turn this computer off or my wife might actually kill me. Bread Fan is next. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is the Metallica Re-Remastered series. Stay tuned for more. Look, there's a subscribe link, a video link, and a playlist link. What are you still doing here? Go watch my stuff, please.